Do you guys see all of these mascaras that I have in my head? I can't even hold them all. There are so many mascaras here, you guys. I wanted to find the very best of the mascara at the drugstore, and I'm here to tell you there are hundreds, well, it's probably not hundreds, but it seems like hundreds of mascaras at the drugstore, and each line has so many mascaras. And so I wasn't able to test everything, but I was able to test a lot, and I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. I have some of these that I'm gonna go through really, really fast because I wanna to talk to you about the ones that were really, really good, which I found about six of that were awesome. So I'm just gonna start with the ones that weren't good. I'm not really gonna give you like a really in-depth review about why they weren't good, just kind of why I decided to pick them up and then why I ended up not really thinking they were the greatest ever. So let's get into it really quickly right now so that you can see the best and the worst of the mascaras at the drugstore that I've tried so far. Okay, so I don't know if this is really considered like drugstore or not. I don't mind this Sephora Lash Craft. Lash Craft. This is the length and volume one. I don't mind this one, but I find that I have to put it with another one to get more volume because it's just one that just really kind of does the length part. It doesn't really do the volume part. So that's the reason that it didn't really make the cut for me because it had to be with something else. The false lash effects, I have a lot from, from Essence in here. So I'm just going to pick all of these up right here. Um, these are the ones from Essence that I tried that really missed the mark for me. This one is the volume stylist 18 hour let's see does that have fibers yes it has lash extension extension fibers in it this one is the big lashes triple black this one is the falsies mascara dermatic volume unlimited I don't feel like it did any of that and on top of that I didn't feel like it gave me any sort of length on my lashes um, you know that's kind of where I'm looking at for my lashes right now and also you know wear time these all just kind of flaked off after a few hours that's a big no-no for me because I wear contacts and if something flakes I'm not going to be happy with it and then also oh my gosh you guys okay this is the new CoverGirl Exhibitionist Uncensored, which I was so excited about because you're going to find out that there's another CoverGirl here and that I really love. But this has the most goopy wand. It goes on totally goopy. It does not separate your lashes. You've just basically got one tarantula lash that you're dealing with. I, I would say completely steer clear of that one because I they did not do any good on that formula or the brush or anything. This is from NYX on the Rise. This one I couldn't get to build up enough. And I just felt like the brush kind of failed me. I, I'm not against these brushes that aren't the like brush brushes. They're more of the plastic ones. I'm not against those. I do use those. But for some reason, this one just couldn't give me any length and volume at all. So I had to pass on that one. This one was really bad. <laughs> this is the Mega Slim Skinny Mascara from Wet n Wild. And I thought that I would really like this for my bottom lash line, but it didn't grab onto them and it didn't give them any length whatsoever. And then it is an absolute fail on the top lash line because it can't separate at all and make you look like you have you know full lashes this one is from ulta this is the maximum lashes it says defining lengthening mascara um this one really flaked bad on me really quickly i actually do like the brush on this one i thought it was quite pretty um, as far as what it did, but it flaked so quickly that it had to go in the no pile. Um, Milani Dangerous Lengths. I, you're going to see in a minute another one that I love from them, but Dangerous Lengths, again, this brush, I don't know what they were thinking. It's just a gloopy, gloppy mess and doesn't give any definition. It just kind of all the lashes kind of go together in like three or four lashes. And then the J Cat Beauty, this is their lengthening mascara. Now, this one did everything I wanted it to do as far as originally, you know, giving me length, giving me volume, giving me all those, you know, fun, yummy feelies you want when you get a really nice mascara. And the wand is a little bit weird because it's flat kind of on one side, but it worked really well. And then, I don't know, like two hours later, it's like flaking off and smudging. So... Those are all the fails. I went through those all really quick so you guys could get, we could get them out of the way. You know, 
we're going to steer clear of those. But these are the ones that I picked up and these are my top six. And I'm going to start, you know, with the ones that are, you know, number six to number one. Keep in mind that just because it's number six doesn't mean that I don't reach for it because I do. And actually, I have this one on today even though I put it in number six. This is the BH Cosmetic Stellar Lash. This it, one gave me everything I wanted. It gave me the definition and it gave me the curl, held my curl, excuse me as I stutter, held my curl really good. It separated my lashes. It gave me volume. It gave me all the good feels and I really like it. And it is a wand very much like the Better Than Sex and the the Lash Paradise wand. I seem to really do well with that kind of wand. It just does a really good job. So this is actually the one I'm wearing today, but I will tell you that you're only going to get about eight to 10 hours out of this, and then you're going to start to notice flakes. That's why I put it down in the ranking a little bit. But you know, I just find that if I have a waterproof mascara, one tiny light coat over this, and this is great. So it just kind of depends on, you know, how much you're wanting to fuss with your mascara. But I really have been enjoying that one a lot. Coming in at number five, I wore this mascara through the summer like gangbusters. This is the same exact thing as far as length, curl, volume, all those yummy things that the other one was from BH Cosmetics. Now this one is just more kind of like a straight up and down one. The reason, and this doesn't flake, it gives you almost an all day wear. It does flake a little bit towards, you know, the end of the day, maybe 12 hours in, which I think is really good for a mascara. The reason that I put it at this mark is because I feel like it started to dry out too quickly. And that was a little bit of, you know, I wanted to at least go the three months. I'm going to change it at three months anyway, but I wanted to go the three months. And I felt like at two months, it was really starting to get to where I wasn't liking it as much as I did when I very first got it. So that's why it's at number five, but really it gave me all the good feels for mascara. And I really did like it a lot. Coming in at number four is the last... I do this every time we get tongue tied. Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This does have the plastic wand again and it's curved. And I actually really love this mascara for being to get in really tight into my lash line and you know, you kind of wiggle it a little bit and then pull it up and it gets so tight in there and I really do like it for that. It builds up really well. It gives me great length all of those good things and this one doesn't smudge on me at all and i actually put this in my yearly favorites as my top two and as one of my top two excuse me and i still feel that same way about it i will continue to repurchase this it's just a really good one and then coming in at number three this is also a maybelline one this is the falsies lash lift now the reason i would have put this into my yearly favorites but the reason was is because i'd only had it for two weeks and i was just like do I do this? Do I not? Anyway, so it's going into my favorites from the drugstore. This was just released not very long ago. Again, we're looking at the same kind of wand that um, has on the Lash Paradise one where it's the hourglass type. It tapers in. Works so good for me. I don't know why, but it does work really good for me. And this one lasts a long time just like the other one does as far as not smudging, not flaking, not anything like that. I'm going to tell you guys right now that usually... Unless it's a waterproof mascara, I don't put it on my bottom lash line because I do have a tendency to smudge down there. So I am always looking for a waterproof mascara to go down there. Honestly, the mascara that I wear on my bottom lash line all the time is the benefit they're real because it not only does you know, stays put, no smudging, no flaking, but it gives me really long looking lashes down there. And I love that. But these ones that I'm showing you, they have been really good as far as the bottom lash line too. Just, you know, know that more than anything, I always test on my upper lash line. So this one, even though it's pretty new, the false lash lift, I just think it was a really, really good one. And this one will build and build and build on itself. And you can get some major dramatic length on it. So I really love that one. Coming in at number two is the Essence Lash Princess. And this is the waterproof. Now, I know that everybody loves Lash Princess mascaras. They are good. They are fantastic. The way they make your eyelashes look is just like you've got false lashes on. And they're just so gorgeous. I mean, they are gorgeous. And I, you know, I get the volume that I love out of it. I can get a lot of length. But my biggest complaint was that I couldn't get it to stay on long, long enough. 
and when they came out with this one that is the blue tube or black tube with the blue on it and it was the waterproof formula Katie bar the door that was it this is my love I I use it all the time and I just think that this is a fantastic mascara the good thing about needing to replace your mascaras at three months is all of the lash princess mascaras from essence they do need replaced at three months because they're going to get dried out and this is no different but the difference is is that all those other ones whether it was the green tube the purple tube I think there was a pink one or, or you know a red one and they all really flaked on me after a very short time but not this one this one is really really good and it stays on all day you do have to use a little bit of an oil soluble product to get it off at night but it's not terrible to get off either it's not like some of those that are like glue on you for days so coming in at number one is one that i do buy in the waterproof formula but oh my word, ever since this came out last year, this has been my very favorite from the drugstore that I've ever tried in all the years of me trying drugstore mascara. And honestly, ladies, back in the 80s when I started wearing makeup, all I had was, you know, the green and pink tube from Maybelline. That was it. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Waterproof one. Again, this is the same wand that they're all trying to dupe from Lash Paradise and Better Than Sex but I don't care. I love this formula. Lash Paradise will flake on me, and if it's the waterproof formula, it will smudge on me. So when I found this one, I was so excited. I like both formulas. I like the regular one, and I like the waterproof one. The waterproof one I used towards the end of summer. I also used it when I started having really bad hot flashes, and it holds up like nobody's business. Length, volume, hold your curl give you all those great things that you want from a mascara and this is it in a tube. And if you guys have watched any sort of drugstore favorites for the year of 2019, this was in so many of their very favorites that I was really surprised. I thought I was the only one that knew about this maybe. No, I'm kidding. I just felt like I knew that it was really good and it was so exciting for me to see that it was in everybody else's, but this performed so well. And if you have a problem with smudging or flaking, pick yourself up the waterproof one. And again, you're gonna need a balm or an oil to take it off, but that doesn't bother me because I love to have natural lashes and have them look nice and thick and long and not have to wear falsies because can't do falsies anyway. Because but. I shake like a, I don't know what, I shake like crazy. So I definitely love this one. So those are my top six, that is it. I hope this video was helpful to all of you. I know that those are such good mascaras. And I know that whichever one you pick up, out of the top six you're going to absolutely love so best and worst from the drugstore that i've tried so far i'm sure that i'll be doing another one of these in the future that's it for today's video please let me know down in the description box if you have a very favorite mascara that you just can't live without i love to know that whether it's high end or whether it is from the drugstore i always love to try new things you guys know that so thank you for spending part of your day with me today i hope everyone is doing really well Please take care of yourselves and, and I will catch you all in my very next video. Love ya. Bye-bye.